hey guys welcome back so in this video we are going to see how to fetch the total registered users in our admin dashboard so previously we had made this order thing over here so we were able to view the orders and the new orders and the order history as well so now we will be making the users thing so we will be fetching the user details and we can view a single users all the details so this thing we had made in the previous video we just created the route with the front end controller and left it like that so now we will be creating a separate controller for handling this user details and so let's get started with it so here you can see we made this users route so I'll just cut that and paste it below so instead of front end controller we will be creating a dashboard controller so we are not creating a user controller because we already have it in the front end so it might get confused and it will give an error so we'll create a new controller control B just open my terminal php artisan make controller so we need it inside the admin folder slash dashboard controller hit enter and controller created successfully so now let me just call it over here so instead of front end it's going to be dashboard controller let us check if it is imported no I'll just say import the class import class class is imported let us check so it is over here admin dashboard controller save and let us go to the users function of the dashboard controller so go to your dashboard controller and create a function over here say f u n and create users just remove all this thing we are not passing any parameters over here and say dollar users equal to the user model of all so all the users we are sending and here we are going to say return view so it's going to be inside the admin folder dot the users dot index file comma then compact function then single quotes pass this users and now let us create this file so inside your resources views inside admin we are going to create a users folder users and inside that we will have an index page new file index dot blade dot php hit enter and here we will be having the table structure so I'll just take it from the products index page so we have the table structure over here just copy and paste it and here we will change the heading to registered users and we'll have the ID and the name and the email and phone so if you need you can keep this phone or you can just remove it we can just show the name and email just remove this so dollar users so this is nothing but the name of this variable which we passed it in the compact function here it is so dollar users as item so item of id name and then the email say email and not showing any image over here remove that and the phone is missing let's copy and paste say phone and here we are not going to delete anything so we'll have just view user say view user and the user id will be passing and change this text to view so now let us just check our output so just refresh and user not found we need to import that class import class models save and refresh so here it is we have the the first name is over here we need to concatenate the L name also within this thing so let us go and just do that so we have this thing right item of name just copy that 
and within dot and give some space over here within single quotes and paste it so item of f name i mean the name and the l name so now you can refresh and check so you've got the full name over here the email and the phone number so when i say view we need to get the view user of one the id of the user so let us create that copy this url and let us keep it as singular view user and it's going to be here say route get of view users user slash within curly braces we are going to pass the id over here and here we will have the same thing dashboard controller class and the function name is going to be view user copy that and go to your dashboard controller create a new function and paste that out here view user this time we will be passing a id over here and remove this say dollar user is equal to uh, let's say users is equal to user model find dollar id and this thing we are going to return view this will be again the admin dot users dot view so comma and compact function within single quotes users and we'll create the file now it's inside your resources views users I have the new file called view dot blade dot php let us just copy the layout from the index page say so control a copy and paste remove all this thing over here so we are going to remove the table and this card we will keep it inside a container say dot container row and call md12 control x and paste it over here so in the card body we will have all the user details i'm going to say user details user details here say dot row and dot call md4 so inside this we will have a div over here say dot p2 and border here within double curly braces just say dollar users of name so here we have passed this thing right users so that is the thing we are using in this view the users of name so this will be the first name right so it will give us label over here first name copy that and paste it over here say last name is going to be the users of l name copy and paste so after the last name we have the email email then the phone and then we can just check in our database so email phone is done so we have the address so you can show here address one the address one paste address two and then we have the city state country pin code say city
steht and then we have the country and pin code right just copy and paste country pin code so anything else so role as you can show that also so what is the user role so you can give this at the top itself so before the f name we'll just copy and paste it above it and say role and here we are going to check if user of role as is equal to equal to zero then show users else show admin so it's user not users save and let us check the output refresh uh, I'll view this on Prakash user over here say view and you can see role as admin first name last name and the address phone number city pin code everything is perfect so I think this label requires some space over here so we'll give margin top to this for all the column md4 right just press ctrl d and select all of them and say mt3 margin top 3 refresh and here it is and let us add one back button over here so it will be over here user details say a dot btn so in this href we need to give a url url of users so this is the users which we are going to give over here the url of this thing we are going to give it over here and the button primary say back over here let us check refresh let me just say float end this is bootstrap 4 i guess so it will work float right and say btn sm btn sm refresh and here it is let me say back so you get to the users let us use the sharma coder user over here say view and the user details over here so you can see then this thing right so role is user for this user and when you go to the first user that is the admin login which i have given so here you can see this is the admin so role as admin so that's it in this video guys we have seen how to fetch the users and view the user details in our admin dashboard so thank you for watching this video guys please like the video and subscribe to the channel thank you